Welcome back to a fresh episode of your daily market dose, Corporate Central, Monday night and we're back to give you the everyday pulse of the corporate world. And also highlight all of the market fluctuations taking place. But first, let's find out what took place in the corporate world today. Lenders to go first airlines are seeking to take a full control of the carrier's resolution process at the National Company Law Tribunal re replacing key bankruptcy related officials appointed by the company. In the first meeting held Friday, the Committee of Creditors replaced the company appointed interim resolution professional process advisor and legal agency to show their intent of controlling the biggest insolvency case. The COC will file for more changes before the NCLT by Tuesday, including replacing Alvarez and Marshall as the process advisor uh, with EY along with with the legal team. The COC wants to avoid conflict of interest and in another update, hearing in a plea filed by a Wilmington against SpiceJet will be held on June 16th. In news from Indigo, Rakesh Gangwal and family would offload 5-8% to in Interglobe Aviation according to a report by Reuters. The block deal may take place on uh, July 15th when uh, the lock-in uh, period ends and the deal could be worth 750 crore rupees. Rakesh Gangwal had resigned from the board in 2022 due to a dispute with the company's other co-founder Rahul Bhatia. As of March 2023, the Gangwal family had 16.2% stake in Indigo. Indigo shares closed nearly 2% down. Sekhmet Pharma Ventures is competing with Ahmedabad-based Nirma Group to, to acquire Glenmark Life Sciences, subsidiary of Glenmark Pharmaceuticals as pharmacist promoter Glenn Saldana looks to deleverage the balance sheet. Glenmark will reportedly sell the API developer and manufacturer in the, in the bid to deleverage. Many bidders, including Chris Capital, are said to be in looking at the opportunity but are yet to make any binding offers. Since Glenmark's shares a price peaked at 595 rupees last week, the company has grown in value to have a market cap of 7,232 crore rupees. Rising dependence on imports of APIs and bulk drugs has made it an area of interest for India's government, which is seeking to incentivize uh, domestic production. And in an order dated June 9th, the division bench of uh, NCLT directed the Res Resolution Professional Viceroy Hotels to restart the sale process and complete it within 60 days of the order. The Hyderabad Bankruptcy Tribunal has rejected lenders' approved resolution plans of Viceroy Hotels since the performance bank guarantee furnished by the successful resolution applicant Anirudh Agro Farm Limited has expired. Effectively, the resolution plan does not comply with the Insolvency and Bankruptcy Board of India's rules. Let's talk about disinvestments. There are quite a few updates. Uh, first up, uh, the centre monetized assets worth 1.32 lakh crore rupees in FY23 against a target of 1.62 lakh crore rupees as railways, road transport, power and telecom ministries failed to meet targets. For 2023-24, a cabinet secretary headed panel earlier this month restated the 1.79 lakh crore rupees target as set by the Niti Aayog. In another update, disinvestment container corporation of India may be delayed indefinitely because the process has hit interministerial obstacles. The Ministry of Railways, which is its uh, nodal ministry, is not interested in the proposed 30.8% stake sale because it is of the view that getting a strategic buyer can impact the railway's target of keeping logistics prices in check. In more news, the government is likely to invite financial bids for the private privatization of Shipping Corporation of India after listing its non-core asset business SCI LAL this month. The government has hived off the non-core assets of SCI in a separate company, Shipping Corporation of India Land and Assets, valued at 2,392 crore rupees as on March 31st, 2022. As part of the demerger process, SCI LAL will be listed on the stock exchanges and every shareholder of the Shipping Corporation of India will get one share of SCI LAL. Future Enterprises has invited expression of interest of for its businesses which are across manufacturing, trading and leasing of retail infrastructure across Maharashtra, Karnataka and across India, it said in a stock exchange filing. The last date of receipt of interest is set at tw June 25th and the provisional list will be out on July 5th. The last date of submissions for objections of the provisional list is July 10th. 
Dalmia Bharat, India's fourth largest cement producer, will spend around 19,000 crore rupees to expand its cement capacity to 120 million tons per annum by 2031 to cash in on the infrastructure and housing boom, its MD and CEO Puneet Dalmia has said. The company currently has a capacity of 41.1 MTPA across 14 plants and grinding units which are spread across 10 states. TVS Motor has fully acquired Swiss e-mobility group after it bought out the residual 25% stake in the e-bike company for a sum of 176 crore rupees. In the latest deal announced on Saturday, the company acquired 38,217 equity shares of SEMG at 517.36 Swiss franc per share. The total consideration of the deal comes at about 19.77 million Swiss franc or 176 crore rupees. Further, non-banking finance company TVS Credit Services has successfully raised equity capital of 480 crore rupees from Premji Invest to fuel its growth plan including advancing its uh, uh, digitization journey, the city-based company has said on Saturday. Premji Invest would pick up 9.7% equity stake in TVS Credit for 737 crore rupees as part of the transaction via a combination of primary and secondary investments. And that was all on corporates. Now let's take a look at those stocks that were buzzing today in the market and also analyze the reason behind it. First up is Go Fashion. The shares of specialty retail company Go Fashion fell by 5% on Monday during the day. The share touched an intraday low of 1,135 rupees. The reason behind the fall in the shares of Go Fashion is the big block deal. On Monday, there was a big deal of 12% equity, after which there has been a weakness in the stock. NSE data shows that 68.7 lakh shares of the company were traded until 9.16 a.m., which is equal to 12.73% stake in the company. According to media reports, U.S. venture capital firm Sequoia uh, Capital's Indian subsidiary is about to sell 10% stake whose value was being estimated around 625 crore rupees because the floor price of this block deal was fixed at 1,135 per share. Shares of PTC Industries, one of the world's largest suppliers of high precision uh, metal components hit an upper circuit of 20% on Monday and the stock made an intraday high of 3,672.80 rupees on the BSC, which is also a 52-week high. Due to the strong outlook, the stock is showing an uptrend and the stock has rallied over 50% in the last three weeks after the announcement of quarter 4 FY23 results as the results were strong. The profit of the company almost doubled from 4.62 crore rupees to 9.2 crore rupees. The working market Margin improved by 3.9% from 26.3% to 30.2%. On last Friday, June 9th, the trading of the shares of this company started on the NSE and the stock jumped 5%. Earlier, these shares used to trade only on the BSE. Listing of shares on the NSE will now increase the liquidity and also, secondly, investors will get better opportunities. Specialty chemicals maker SRF's stock fell by up to 4.5% on Monday. The stock made an intraday low of 2,317.10 rupees, which is the lowest level since March 21st, 2023. In fact, there has been a continuous decline in the stock for the last three days and has lost around 3.7%. In the annual report of FY23, SRF has given an outlook of improvement in business in the current financial year as the country's economy is expected to benefit from strength. But due to cheap imports from China, the pressure on the margin of tire cord fabrics segment is expected to continue. Results of the fourth quarter were also not satisfactory. In quarter four, the company's income grew by 6.1% year-on-year to 3,719.3 crore rupees. The working margin fell by 2.05% to 24.7% and profit also fell by 7% year-on-year to 562.5 crore rupees. Shares of Nagpur-based Sarda Energy touched a 52-week high of 1,344.70 rupees on Monday. Sarda Energy has made the highest bid for the bankrupt SKS Power and it is noteworthy that it has submitted a bid of 1,800 crore rupees for SKS Power, which will take care of total dues of the lenders. Another thing to note is that apart from Torrent Group, SKS Power has uh, trumped Jindal Power. SKS Power has a 600 megawatt power plant in Chhattisgarh, which is being run by NTPC and is charging fees for it. 
Shares of state-run Mini Ratna Company Cochin Shipyard saw a jump of more than 6% on Monday, June 12th. The stock touched an intraday high of 574 rupees. The reason behind Monday's rally is the order of about 300 crore rupees from the Indian Navy. According to the information given to the stock exchange, the company has been declared the lowest bidder for the midlife upgrade of the naval ship from the Indian Navy. This order will be completed in the next 24 months. Earlier, the company had received an order of about 550 crore rupees from Samskip Group of the Netherlands in March 2023 and an order of about 1000 crore rupees from a European company in November 2022. During August 2022 to December 2022, the stock had given a return of 105% and touched a 52-week high of 687 rupees and from that peak onwards, the stock is trading at a low of about 18%. Well, that's all on corporates and markets tonight. But before we go, leaving you with some important triggers and corporate events which will have potential to make big market impacts. On June 13th, the impact of CPI inflation for May and IIP figures for April will be seen. EQO IPO will also be allotted and the total IPO of IQO Lighting was filled 67.75 times. Globally, on 13 June, U.S. CPI inflation data will be released, which is expected to decline from 4.9% to 4.1%. Also, U.S. Fed's two-day meeting will begin on June 13, and the decision for the Fed meeting will come on June 14, wherein 70% experts do not expect any changes or increase in the rates. It's a wrap tonight on Corporate Central, but catch all the other detailed updates from the corporate world on Money9's website, www.money9.com. And that's all from me. Take care and stay tuned to Money9.